everyone. We're going to be hanging out here in aisle 20 at the hardware store in Timberville today. This happens to be our widest aisle and most used aisle, so we might have a few visitors today. Uh, Flint's here again. He's already got some uh, hardware that he's hanging out, messing up the inventory. That's okay. I'm going to hand this off to Josh. All right. Well, Randy, what are we looking at today? Well, I want to talk about our fastener aisle. This is probably the highest traffic aisle in the store. Uh, it's got the most diverse amount of inventory in it. And before I even start about everything I want to talk about, I really like this aisle, but I really want to thank all the folks that have been watching our Facebook Live. Uh, you know, I go out to get lunch. I stop in the convenience store. And folks are saying, hey, I saw you on Facebook. Uh, I really thank you guys for that, and if you like what you see, you know, share it or do whatever you do on Facebook. And uh, now let's talk about some fasteners. Come on in, Josh. We've got, you know, this. <laughs> we've got all kinds of nuts and bolts, a big selection of metric fasteners, nuts, bolts, set screws. Uh, they're all pretty mundane, wood screws, sheet metal screws. But this aisle has some real treasures. Who would have thought we would have a drawer of plugs to plug a hole? Uh, we've got them in black, we've got them in white. Um, you know, there's always an application to, to dress up a project. If you've got a, a hole that's left uncovered, you can dress it up and make it look really professional with these. They come in a lot of different sizes. The other thing that's unusual in this aisle, you know, are nylon bolts. We've got nylon bolts, nylon nuts, nylon washers, and you might say, well, where would I ever use a nylon bolt? Well, they make great license plate fasteners because they don't rust and they won't scratch your paint. Um, there's a lot of applications, you know, anywhere there's a lot of water. Um, you know, it's a lot of different things you can use with them. And, you know, I know there's craft projects out there that are just screaming for a nylon washer that looks like this. They're big. They're unusual. Look at this one. Look at that. I know there's a project somewhere that just says, buy me. You know, I need this. Randy's imagining earrings right now, I think. <laughs> it's just big ones. And as we go along, you know, this is one of the, this is one of my favorite drawers. Um, a lot of people don't know these exist. They call, they're called expansion nuts. The old term for them were well nuts. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't found out why they were named well nuts. Well, I have a theory. You put it like that. Doesn't it look like a little well? Like Mary, or what's the little wishing wells that you just throw stuff in? Or a little bucket. A little bucket on the top. Yeah, right there. Well, I don't think so, but. <laughs> well, that's fine. That's my theory. <laughs> What these things do, if you've got a, a blind hole in a piece of sheet metal, that means it's in, a, it's in an area where you can't get behind it, so you can't put a nut on a bolt that you're going to put through there to hold something, and you don't want to use a rivet. These things are made, they're rubber with a brass insert that's tapped to a machine thread. You put it through the hole, put your bolt through that, and when you start tightening it, it bulges the rubber out on the inside makes a tight waterproof seal. It would be great to isolate something from electricity and it's virtually vibration proof. I mean, you could put it on uh, a, a moving vehicle and it's gonna stay tight. Um, like I said, there's just so many applications for these and there's so many people that don't even know they exist. So uh, we've made a lot of people happy by showing them those. If you're doing a restoration project, these are square nuts. Get one that's big enough to see. A lot of the old farm equipment, a lot of the antique vehicles, uh, a lot of old machinery and that sort of thing, old tools used square nuts because they fit into a slot and you could tighten it without having to have a wrench on the other side. Uh, a lot of folks into restoration are glad to see those. Something else, the guys that's got a boat, brass wing nuts. They love these things. Yeah. 
you buy a wagon at the box store, you get it home, you go to put it together, you mess up one of the little push nuts that holds the wheel on. Josh is pointing to himself so he knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you mess that up, what are you going to do? You going to go back to the box store and ask them for that? <laughs> Good luck with that. But here they are, push nuts, fits right on the axle, holds the wheel in place. You got your wagon back in business, have fun. <laughs> It's pretty good attack weld I used. Yeah, yeah, it's a good good solution to have. Here's something that'll help our cashiers out a lot when you're shopping this aisle. They hang right here. When you pick up your bag, you put your item in there, mark down the quantity and the price. That's all we need. And your money when you get to the checkout. <laughs> well, Here's yeah, something a little bit unusual. Um, these are automotive drain plugs. Uh, if you ever had the occasion where you've stripped out one, or you lost it when you're changing your own oil. We get a lot of do-it-yourselfers in here, and uh, they're real happy to see that when we have items like this. There's a lot, a lot of different sizes. And along with that, we've got the drain plug gaskets. So when you put that new plug in, we've got the seal that goes behind it. We switched over camera people here. Josh is helping a customer, so I'm going to take over. It might yeah, be a little shaky. <laughs> to give you a heads up, this, like I said before, this is our highest traffic aisle, so I knew we were going to have some traffic in here today. Uh, but you know what? Folks like to see what's going on. Now, yeah. here's something you probably wouldn't expect to find in a hardware store. Gun screws. We've got 648 through 1228. Uh, really, really, really small screws. In fact, they're so small... This drawer comes with a pair of tweezers in order for us to pick up one of the little set screws. I can't even see that. It's a little, it's a little black set screw in there. Uh, they're used for scope mounts. They're used to fill holes where you take a scope mount or a sight off. Uh, a lot of guys come in here, they're really, really happy to see that. And we've got three drawers of different sizes and different shapes. Now, you go... <laughs> you go to that box store or you go to Ikea and you buy a piece of knockdown furniture. You get home, you get it almost completely assembled, and you got parts missing. And the owner's manual says, call the 1-800 number. Two weeks later, you'll get the parts you need. You don't have to wait that long. We carry them. Here they are. I call them Euro fasteners. Uh, a lot of the European knockdown furniture use them. Uh, the thread inserts. The pins, uh, the other type inserts, uh, we've got several drawers of these. Well, that's helpful. Uh, yes, because you are a big IKEA fan. I am. And I, well, I have to be. I can't buy expensive furniture. I've got kids that do knock it down. Now, you know, knife making has gotten really popular. Uh, this is a box we put in. Uh, it's cutlery rivets. Uh, if you're making a knife and you need to attach the handle, uh, we've got the rivets to do that with. Neat. And it's probably the only yellow box in this whole assortment. Um, you got a house with bifold closet doors. You're missing a part, a piece. Uh, we've got several drawers of bifold hardware. Uh, you probably recognize some of these. That part gets broken and gets lost. That part that mounts on the floor for your pivot. Um, storm door and shower door replacement rollers. You go to move that um, that patio screen and it feels like it's just dragging and it's hard to get open and it doesn't sound very good. Pop it off. You can replace those rollers. Make it good as new. Nice. And that's just one side of the... That's one side. If you want to get... Look at, look look. at the length of this. Yeah. And... and what you the see right now width. is pretty typical of what goes on in the bolt and the fastener aisle every day. Yeah. Actually, I've seen it much busier than this. Oh, but yeah. I know Randy's got some stuff over here that he wants to show off because I think uh, he feels at home here in the nut aisle. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> You're welcome. This drawer is pretty special because it's stainless steel sheet metal screws, but the heads are already painted. You can get white. Oh. You can get brown. You can get black, or you can get beige or almond or bisque or whatever you want to call that color. 
they're really handy for re repairing your gutter. If you got white gutter, brown gutter, almond colored gutter, uh, you can put those screws in. It's not going to rust, and they're already the same color. Nice. Those would work for um, those light switches. No, would but I'm glad you that? brought that up. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to get to that. But okay. Here's something. There's nothing in there. No. But we're always getting new assortments. We're always, you know, searching the marketplace. We're looking for that new unusual item. So if you come in, you see one of these boxes, there's something something coming in. And we do try to keep a pretty good variety of the hard to find fasteners, right? We do. Just for for instance, here's an all thread metric stainless steel machine bolt. And you know, there's more and more metric fasteners out there today than there ever has been. These are pretty cool. A lot of people don't know what these are, but most all of your automobiles today have these little plastic rivets. Uh, they hold door panels in. Mm -hmm. uh, they do a lot of different things. Push them in, and they're really difficult to get back out. So if you do have to take them out, uh, don't you know? Don't put that old one back in there. You know, come on in for for less than a dollar, you can get a new one. Put it back in. That's going to stay where you put it. Because it's probably broken if you can get it out. Most of the time, they'll break, or they'll weaken the fins on it to where they won't hold very well. Again, make our cashiers happy. Write down the quantity and the price before you get to the checkout. Yeah, we don't need the item number. Nope. Just makes it difficult for everybody else. Uh, here's something a lot of housewives are real happy to see. It's, it's replacement knobs for appliances, small appliances, kitchen appliances. You know, I don't know how they get away, but sometimes you lose them. They get broken for whatever reason. We've got the replacements for them. You drop them in a pot of soup and they melt. <laughs> Not that that's happened. Uh, here's something. <clears throat> you move, you're, you're moving from one location to another. You buy a new house for whatever reason. Uh, you move that range. You get to the new location. You go to set it up. The stove doesn't set level anymore. You look underneath. One of the elevator bolts are gone. Elevator bolts. Can you believe that? That's exactly what they do. They go in the bottom of an appliance, and you can raise or lower the appliance by moving the elevator bolt. Nice. If you do lose one, don't put a block of wood under there. Come on in. We'll get you a new one. Less than a buck in most cases. Carry one in your pocket for when you're out at a restaurant. <laughs> uh, here's some other knobs that are not really um, appliance related. They're more for equipment and tools. Uh, but, you know, you just don't. It, it takes a good, a good hardware store to have all this stuff in stock. Look at this corks all the way down to the teeny tiny little corks like you might use to put in the bottom of an antique uh, salt or pepper shaker yeah we just uh, were at an antique shop and found a cute little little bottle and came in here and found a cork for it yeah and it, it works just fine it completes your your project uh, these are called thread protectors I like to call them head protectors because if you got kids and you got anything oh. that's got an exposed uh, screw or, or machine bolt through it, uh, you can get these little plastic caps that go over it. They're great for on, on your swing set. Uh, if you got one of those kids' jungles, the little climbing places, uh, every now and then some of those uh, bolt heads will be exposed. Uh, you can put these over it and protect their head. And you can do the same thing uh, with these. these. These actually snap over the the wood screw head after you after you put it in snap the cover closed and it's nice and safe yeah didn't know we had those did you Rick? no i didn't but my knowing my kids they take them off and eat them <laughs> now here's something that happens just about every day you take the wall plate off to paint you think i'm going to put those screws in a safe place so when i go to put them back up i know where the screws are the screw gremlin comes in and hides them because they get away. Yeah. Well, we can help. We've oh, got all are. colors, all lengths, uh, even the, the ground screws for in the box, the replacement screws to hold the lampshades on. Uh, pretty neat. So that nowhere near completes my tour of the fastener aisle, or as Rachel likes to call it, the nut aisle. You said that. Uh, I was just repeating it. <laughs> but, uh, 
there again, you know, if you, if you, anything that you need, you know, come in. One thing we do very well is listen. So if you're looking for something we don't have, uh, you can be assured that we'll listen to you and we'll look in the marketplace and if it's feasible, uh, we'll try to add that item. Yeah. Well, thanks for showing us around, Dad. Or Randy, sorry. And we'll uh, see you guys in a few weeks.